Thanks for joining us. I'm Don Nelson. Here are your top headlines. A woman and two children died after a fire started early Monday morning at a home on the 1500 block of Leadville Avenue in Boise. A neighbor dialed 911 prompting the Boise Fire Department to respond quickly. They got all three people out of the home then started performing CPR and chest compressions. However, 43 year old Jana Cullen and two children ages 12 and 9 unfortunately passed away. The home did not have working smoke detectors, which firefighters believe could have made a difference. A working smoke alarm is so often the difference between a fatality fire um, and just a structure fire. Um, and I shouldn't just say just a structure fire because it's still serious. We still lose property. Um, but, but really the determination between fatalities and not fatalities, working smoke alarms are so important, so, so important. Authorities say the fire was started after a heater heating element in an electronic wax burner failed, causing shelves to catch on fire. Deputy Chief uh, said, told us that this is the most death set of fire the department has responded to since 2011. The 2019 fire season has been a much more mild one for much of the U.S. so far at least. That doesn't stop the National Interagency Fire Center from working on new tactics as they prepare for the worst. One of those tactics is a relatively new piece of technology, battling a blaze using a drone. One of the most important things about these drones is that we can use them to help keep firefighters safe. Instead of putting a firefighter on the fire line, we can put a drone up there to scout an active fire line. Other than fighting fires, NIFC currently has 170 drones also being used to examine cultural sites and to research rivers. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Norval with the On Your Side forecast. A sun is shining in much of the Treasure Valley. Here's a view from the uh, Boise uh, of the Boise area from the Red Lion Hotel and blue skies with uh, some clouds. So we'll call it partly cloudy to mostly sunny, depending on where you are. There are some places that are getting some storms, though, just north and west of Weezer uh, and that line around Brogan, Oregon, tracking up Highway 95 up to around New Meadows. We've had some storms. I'll show you those in a moment. Some hail being pushed through eastern portions of Owyhee County into the central portions of Twin Falls County, crossing Highway 93 and then even heading towards the Burley area, some showers and storms. This pink area is a uh, red flag warning in effect because of the lightning potential fire season uh, or the fire season starting. So the potential fires uh, there because we're drying on out and just up north of Landor here, uh, north of Hell's Canyon, slow moving storms here in the Oregon Idaho border tracking northeast. There's McCall. It's been fine. We had a storm push over the Cascade area. Another storm system is heading towards uh, uh, the Donnelly area, like with some light rain chance for some lightning out of that storm system as well. Cascade could get another shower as well. So the West Central Mountains this evening, showers and storms are a good bet. All rotating around this big low pressure here, but dry air is now rotating in behind that, and that's what's coming in for the day tomorrow. So the thunderstorm threat should disappear tomorrow for most locations. And the heat's going to start to build on it. Look at this temperature at 87 tomorrow is about where it should be. But then 94 Wednesday, there will be some high cloud cover coming in, but then that will just disappear and dry out. And mid 90s Thursday, mid to upper 90s Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The heat is on excessive heat coming in. Could be our first 100 degree day of the year. We'll have to see. I'll keep you updated with more updates coming right here later this evening.